Ireland is currently ranked 25 among the major economies. They need skilled workers to run the economy and get going. So they have designed a special program to bring skilled workers from around the world to the country. It's called a Critical Skills Employment Permit. Watch this video till the end to learn how you can move to Ireland as a skilled worker through the Critical Skills Employment Permit. Hey everyone, I'm Behnam from the Visa Library. This channel gives visa information and the latest news and updates. First things first, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell and download the free cheat sheet my team has prepared from the link in the description. You should also follow us on Instagram and Facebook to get the latest visa news and updates. Now let's begin. First, let's answer this question. What is the Critical Skills Employment Permit? The Critical Skills Employment Permit is designed to attract highly skilled people into Ireland's labor market to encourage them to take up permanent residency. Eligible occupations under this permit are critically important to growing Ireland's economy. These jobs are highly needed and highly skilled and a significant supply shortage in Ireland labor market. There is a list of critical skills occupation on the Department of Enterprise, Trade and Employment DETE website. The link is in the description. You can get familiar with them from this link. Critical Skills Employment Permit has so many benefits, so the employers and employees love it. First, there is no need to get the labor market needs test. What the hell is it? The Ireland government prioritizes the employment of the Ireland and EU nationals. So, if an employer wants to bring a non-EU worker to the country, he or she must apply and get the labor market needs test. But the occupations under the critical skills occupations do not need the labor market needs test. The second feature is that it permits skilled workers to bring their families to Ireland immediately without much trouble. Their family members can work right away without limitation. Also, after you complete the critical skills employment permit duration, you can apply to work and live in Ireland without an employment permit. As you see, it's full of useful features, but not everyone is qualified for it. You have to meet the eligibility principles to receive a critical skills employment permit. Are you wondering what these items are? Don't go anywhere. Here they are. The first requirement is your occupation. It must be on the critical skills occupation list. You can find the DET list from the link in the description. As I told you a bit earlier, you must have the skill and have proof that you can do the job. If you're a nurse, your degree or diploma must have been recognized and accepted by the Nursing and Midwifery Board of Ireland. You have to contact them and pass the registration so they recognize your nursing degree. The second requirement is a job offer. You must have a job offer from a company or employer that is registered with Revenue Trading in Ireland and registered with the company's registration office. The duration of the job offer must be at least two years, not shorter. A job offer from recruitment agencies and other intermediaries is not accepted for this permit. The third item is that the employee must have the required qualification, skills, and experience required for employment. The Irish officials will check your CV your resume to ensure you can do the job. You should know that the Irish companies take several interviews and ask for samples of work to ensure you can do the job. I'll tell you how to find a job in Ireland a bit later. Keep watching. The fourth item is with the company you want to work with. They must obey the 50-50 rule. What the heck is that? It means up to the 50% of the employees in the company you want to work with must be from Ireland or EEA nationals. This restriction may be waived if the company is a startup and only two years have passed since its establishment. Also, the company is supported by Enterprise Development Agencies Enterprise Ireland or IDA Ireland. The fifth item is salary requirement, which is 32,000 or 64,000 euro. It must be at least 30,000 euro a year in occupation that is on the critical skills occupation list. You must have a higher degree or higher education or eligible jobs in the 32,000 or more salary range. The salary must be at least 64,000 euro a year in an occupation that is not on the list of NL ineligible occupations. You can find the list of ineligible occupations from the link in the description. For eligible jobs with an annual salary of 64,000 or over, you must have a degree or equivalent experience. Alright then, 
This was the eligibility principles list. As you see, the most important requirement is a job offer. You must look for a job offer with an Irish employer or company. This is the first obstacle that you have to pass to get a critical skills employment permit. But how can you find a job in Ireland? There are websites that advertise job positions in Ireland. Websites like jobs.ie, recruitireland.com, irish.jobs.ie and other ones. You can find a list of them in the visa library article from the link in the description. You can also enter Ireland to find a job. If you are among the visa waived countries, you can enter Ireland with your passport and stay for up to 90 days. This time might be enough to hold interviews and find a job. If you are not among the visa waived countries, you can apply for an Ireland tourist visa and enter the country to find a job. You can watch the Ireland tourist visa video we have prepared on our YouTube channel. After finding a job, you must sign an employment contract with the employer. The contract must contain every detail or aspect of the employment, title of the job, detailed duties and responsibilities of the role, location of the employment, proposed period of employment and proposed start date, details of the qualifications, skills, knowledge or experience required for the role, details of your qualification, skills and knowledge and experience, salary, perks, benefits, pension, and every detail you think of. Then you have to apply for a work permit. Either the employee or employer can apply for the critical skills employment permit. There are two options to apply. The first one is to apply to the employment permit section of the Department of Enterprise, Trade and Employment. In this way, you have to gather the supporting documents and post them to the employment permit section. The contact details and postal address are provided on their website. You can find it from the link in the description. You have to be in touch with them and follow the instructions to apply for and receive the employment permit. They will guide you to complete the procedure. The second way is to apply to the Employment Permit Online System EPOS. The link is in the description. There is an online application form that you have to complete. When you enter the website, read the instructions on this page. Then, go to the bottom of the page. There are two options. Number one, help me choose an employment permit application form. This section helps you find the appropriate application form, a critical skills employment permit. If you go through this section, it lets you enter as an employer or employee. So, if the employer is gonna apply, he or she has to pick this option. Number two is I will select the employment permit application form from this list. You will find a long list of work permits or options. Click on the critical skills employment permit. Either option you pick, you have to pick the critical skills employment permit. Then insert your personal information and passport number to enter the application form. The employee and employer have to gather the supporting documents. The Department of Enterprise, Trade and Employment has a checklist of required documents for employee and employer. You can find it from the link in the description. Collect everything according to the instructions to submit them to the officials. There is also a fee for the application processing. The processing fee for a critical skill employment permit is 1000 euro. In, if an application is unsuccessful, 90% of the fee will be refunded. Another person, like a friend or employer, can pay the application fee. But the refund policy says that the refunded fee will be transferred only to the employee. There are three stages with your application. The first one is receiving application. Once an application is submitted and the processing fees are paid, the application is then placed in the relevant processing queue. It depends on the employer type, trusted partner or standard. Applications are processed strictly in date order by employer type. You can find out more about the processing dates for the Department of Enterprise, Trade and Employment website from the link in the description. The second phase is the processing stage. In this stage, a decision maker, an official with decision making authority, considers the application. He or she might request additional information or documents. If so, you have to submit them in 28 days. The processor will either grant the employment permit or refuse it for a specific reasons. They will inform you of the results. If you reject your application, you can enter the other stage, which gets called review. If you don't agree to the negative decision, you can ask for a review by submitting a decision for review form. 
The link to the form is in the description. The review will be considered by a separate and more senior official, but you can submit a new application as well. The decision on the review doesn't prevent you from doing this. You'd better not wait for the decision on the review and submit a new application to get positive results sooner. After the employment permit is issued, you have to apply for a work visa if needed. Ask the Irish embassy or consulate in your home country whether you need a work visa or not. But the general rule of thumb is this. If you need an Ireland short stay visa, you need a work visa as well. If you do not need an Ireland short stay visa, then you do not need a work visa as well. Are you wondering how to know if you need a short stay visa or not? Visit the visa library article from the link in the description to know it. We have listed the countries that need and do not need a short stay visa. But you would better contact the Ireland embassy in your home country and ask them to make sure. You can find the list of Irish embassies and consulates worldwide from the link in the description. Let me clarify this point for you as well. The employment permit is permission to work in Ireland, but a work visa is permission to enter the country. Whether you need a work visa to enter Ireland or not, you have to go through the usual immigration control at the port of entry. So all of your relevant and supporting documents, including the original employment permit, must be available for inspecting by immigration officers. The immigration officers are responsible for letting you enter the country. After entering Ireland, you must register your stay with the Garda National Immigration Bureau. You'd better register with them as soon as after arrival. If you delay the registration process, it could affect application granting long-term residency and citizenship. To extend your residency, you have to do it at least one month before the expiry date to avoid unlawful residence in the state. If you want to bring your family to Ireland, you may need a visa. If your nationality needs a visa to enter Ireland, you have to apply for a family visa to the Irish Embassy or Consulate. But if you do not need a visa to enter Ireland, you can bring your family to Ireland to, with proving your relationship. You can show the marriage certificate or birth certificate of your children. You can find more information about the Ireland family visa from the link in the description. You should also know about de facto relationships. A de facto partner is someone who you are in a committed relationship with. It's like a marriage, but you're not married to each other. If your de facto partner is joining you in Ireland, they must apply for one of these options. 1. A visa if they are from a country whose citizens need a visa to enter Ireland. 2. Pre-clearance if they are from a country whose citizens do not need a visa to enter Ireland. Your children must also apply the same way as your de facto partner. If this is your first employment permit in Ireland, then you must stay with your employer for at least 12 months. After that, you can change your employer by making a new application for a critical skills employment permit. Let me ask you this as well. Can you also apply for a critical skills employment permit from inside Ireland? If you already live in Ireland and have a valid residence permit with a stamp 1, 1G, 2, 2A or 3 permission, you can apply for permission if you meet the eligibility principles I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Alright then, this was all you must know about Critical Skills Employment Permit. If you have questions, write them down in the comment section. My team at the Visa Library will answer them. Before you leave, like this video, hit the bell and download the free cheat sheet that my team has prepared from the link in the description. You should also follow us on Instagram and Facebook to get the latest visa news and updates. Until the next video, thank you all for watching.